Welcome. On behalf of Carbondale Community High School, I would like to welcome you to the 75th Annual Induction Ceremony for the CCHS Chapter of the National Honor Society. I'm Tracy Shackles, and I'm the advisor for this year's chapter. This has been a very interesting year, and though this is not how we would normally induct our new members, we wanted to make sure they receive the recognition that they so rightly deserve. There are four main pillars that guide the NHS chapters across the nation to create enthusiasm for scholarship, to stimulate a desire to render service, to promote leadership, and to develop character in students. These traits guide our selection here at CCHS. We would like to take a moment to honor all members of NHS. Remember, just because you graduated does not mean you are no longer a member of NHS. I would also like to give a big thank you to the faculty and staff here at CCHS. Without you, none of this would be possible. This year's officer committee, Jackson, Tori, Ella, and Darcy, have had to deal with some unique situations this year, and they've done a very great job. Um, I wanted to point out that this has been self-directed today and they've put together this presentation themselves. Okay, we're gonna hear the opening address by Jackson. Hello everyone, and welcome to the 2021 National Honor Society Induction Ceremony. This is our 75th annual induction ceremony at Carbondale Community High School and our first and hopefully last virtual induction ceremony at Carbondale Community High School. Before continuing with this ceremony, I'd like to give a special thanks to Rebecca Countryman for her work behind the scenes to help make this program as smooth as possible. It is a great honor that I speak with you all tonight, or today, or whenever you choose to watch this video. And it is a great honor to be a part of the National Honor Society. And whether you're watching this as a student who will be inducted into the National Honor Society, a parent who helped raise that student. Okay, Jackson, please proceed. I'd like to thank you for watching this video and for watching this slideshow which will show students who have proven their dedication to the betterment of society and shown a demonstrated eagerness to learn. Each year, NHS strives to improve the community and conditions of CCHS and the greater Carbondale area. Last semester, however, we were not able to do many things that we usually do. This is because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Usually the National Honor Society will put together group benefits and fundraisers to help, uh, to help people in the community who are in need. This year, of course, we were not able to do those because gatherings are irresponsible during the pandemic. However, we were able to help our community by staying safe and socially distancing, which prevented the spread of COVID-19 even by a slight margin in our community, which is very beneficial. Hopefully next year, the pandemic will be over. And the students who are inducted today will be able to have a normal uh, NHS experience. With that out of the way, I'd like to continue and shift our attention to the pillars of national honor society. Service, scholarship, character, and leadership. These pillars will be discussed by the other officers and myself in subsequent videos, which I encourage you all to watch. Thank you for your time and enjoy the rest of our ceremony. Next is going to be our service speech by Tori. The first pillar of National Honor Society is service. And it just values students who are dedicated to giving back to their community. Thanks to these inductees' hard work, they have and will continue to make our community a better place. These students are not only here because they want to go on to do great things as future doctors, engineers, writers, and leaders, but because they choose to take time with their personal lives to selflessly give back to their community. Service is not only about simply collecting cans for a church's food drive, volunteering at the hospital, or picking up trash at the side of the road. Well, it is that, but there's a deeper meaning to it. Albert Einstein once said that only a life lived in the service of others is worth living. These students here in front of you are proof of this commitment to service. Service aids us in recognizing the real and difficult issues among us. It helps us to search and find ways to solve these problems without ever asking for anything in return. Service allows us to open our eyes to the world and help make a difference in the daily lives of those around us. 
I am confident that each and every one of these selfless young men and women here today will bring about a positive change in our world and create a brighter future through their service. Now, Darcy Condor, our treasurer, will give her speech on scholarship. The second pillar of the National Honor Society is scholarship. Scholarship is characterized by a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend the necessary time to cultivate his or her mind in the quest for knowledge. This pillar can only be achieved through diligence and effort. Scholarship means always doing the best work possible, regardless of impending reward. Some people may think the, these students are sitting here because school comes easy for them, when in fact they're very mistaken. The students here have been and continue working double time to excel in the most challenging classes that CCHS has to offer. They're dedicated to their academic endeavors. Parents, ask any of your children's teachers and you will learn about the great student your child has become. Be proud of yourselves and inductees, be proud of yourselves as well. Tonight's induction into the NHS is just another step in the direction of grander success and recognition for the culmination of their academic ambition and commitment to doing the best work possible. The third pillar of National Honor Society's Merits and Values is character. Character is defined as a set of attributes or features that make up and distinguish an individual. And it just seeks individuals that hold themselves to a high standard of character, regardless of the surrounding circumstances. These individuals are persistent in doing what is right in times when no one is watching. Their character is exemplified through the many ways that they exhibit their leadership, service, and scholarship. Each past member, current member, and those being inducted today have shown their character through their work in school, position on the sports team, membership in the club, or their volunteer work outside of school. This is not only being awarded today, but will continuously be acknowledged throughout life. Character goes far beyond what is displayed for others to see. It is the ability to overcome obstacles when conflict may strike. It is the constant choice of stepping out of one's comfort zone to accomplish a greater need. It involves being respectful, trustworthy, caring, fair, and responsible. Each student being inducted into NHS tonight are great examples as to what admirable characters may represent and it is an honor to be among them. Next up, our president of NHS will be giving a speech about leadership. Thank you. The fourth and final pillar of National Honor Society is leadership. Being a leader is a person's ability to guide other individuals, teams, or organizations. But a leader is much more than that. A leader is compassionate and willing to build relationships with others. A leader has self-confidence and recognizes the importance of believing in themselves or at least the importance of having a strong, positive support group. Leaders have integrity and are able to live their lives by their own individual values and moral code. As a leader, communicating with your peers and listening to the people who you represent to make them feel heard and valued is very important. One of the defining marks of a leader is their ability to help people around them, make them feel like their choice of making you, as the leader, was correct. Former U.S. President Lyndon B. Johnson once said, we must open the doors of opportunity. We must also equip our people to walk through those doors. A good leader is not only able to help their peers, but also provide them with the means of helping themselves. The students in the National Honor Society have always been able to display these aspects of leadership in and outside of the classroom. And I can say with full confidence that I believe that every one of these soon-to-be NHS inductees are and will always be leaders within their community. Next, we're going to have the um, National Honor Society Pledge. Um, we did try to pre-record this, so we're going to watch that next. National Honor Society inductees of 2021, please stand and raise your right hand and repeat after me. I pledge myself to uphold. I pledge myself to uphold. The high purpose of National Honor Society. The to which I have been selected. To which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. 
I will be loyal to my school. And maintain and encourage. And maintain and encourage the high standards of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. The high standards of scholarship, service, and character. Our first senior is Omar Alamari. Uh, Omar has been a great participative student at CCHS where he was involved in many clubs such as science club, math team, key club, and has been involved in research projects such as National History Day. Omar is also a high honor student in all of his four years of high school. He was invited to join the NYLF that is sponsored by George Mason at Hop John Hopkins. He has also been invited to Global Award of Excellence. Next, we have Mercedes Fernandez. Mercedes has been involved in the academics of CCHS more than the extracurriculars, but was involved with Key Club and Creative Writing Club. Ariel Friedrich. Ariel has been involved in track, volleyball, basketball, and soccer throughout her years at Carbondale, along with participating in Lifesavers and Yearbook and demonstrating leadership in freshman mentors. Connor Gleason. Connor has participated in Scholar Bowl, Science Olympiad, WYSE competitions, German club and band, and has demonstrated leadership through FFA, as well as showing responsibility outside of the classroom at his part-time job. Next, we have Gabriel Graham. Gabe is an active member in Model UN and Lifesavers. He hopes to uphold and continue the ideals of the NH as an NHS member. Uh, we have Virginia Jeffries. Virginia completed a year-long exchange in Taiwan last year, and she also is the co-president of the Rotary Interact Club. We have Christina Mayhall. Christina has shown leadership by helping others with homework, questions about life, and or things that would help that they would need help with. She has also participated in Art Club, FCCLA, and Thespians Club. Uh, we have Saja, Na Saja Nasser. Saja has shown her leadership by being a part of FCCLA, Student Council, Arabic Club, and Lifesavers. Uh, we have Adrian Self. Adrian has participated in Model UN, International Club, Global Initiative, and completed a year abroad in Colombia. She has shown leadership as the co-president of the Rotary Interact Club. We have Memphis Taylor. Memphis has demonstrated leadership in the Student Advisory Committee. We have Taylor Thames. Taylor has demonstrated her leadership by being a part of Student Council, Key Club, Science Club, and Interact. Uh, now on to our juniors. We have Radha abdel Twab. Radha demonstrates her leadership by being a part of Model UN, Freshman Mentors, FBLA, German club, and a two-sport varsity athlete of bowling and soccer. Next, we have Kabir Ahuja. Kabir is a part of Key Club, Student Council, reporter for FBLA, and a member of the tennis team and vice president of FBLA for the Southern region. Uh, next, we have Alex Bauman. Alex is a member of the golf and basketball teams and works to bring happiness to those around him. Connor Bennett. Connor has participated in band, jazz band, and has been on the bowling team for the past few years. Lily Bishop. Lily demonstrates her, demonstrates her leadership by being section leader of percussion in the CCHS band, a key club officer, and is a member of speech team, freshman mentors, gay straight alliance, environmental club, in addition to being an activist for social justice and human rights inside and outside of school. We have Caleb Bonzi. Caleb has participated in soccer, tennis, FBLA, and Key Club over the past years and shows his leadership by speaking at community events and being a SMASH scholar. And we have Colby Baudet. Colby has been a part of the CCHS baseball team since freshman year and joined the Bass fishing team last year. Colby has been in 
Cub Scouts and Boy Scouts for as long as he can remember. All right, now we have Alex Brown. Alexander has been a part of Letters for Learning, German Club, Art Club, and he is a two-time Garland Family Foundation Scholarship recipient. Next we have Alexander Valia. Alexander is an aspiring scholar who has participated in Yearbook and Robotics Club, as well as provided a fresh produce for the community at the year-round organic farm. Amaya Chain. Amaya has participated in basketball in the past years. She is also part of Band Lifesavers FCA and Educators Rising. David Shaver. David has helped many people, ranging from friends, teachers, and those around him. He led his fellow students in the kitchen and tabletop game and in the classroom by demonstrating his leadership. Claudia Colby. Uh, Claudia Ta has participated in Choir, Student Council, FBLA, Terriers Live, History Fair, Played Up, Domna and Blair Rose, and assembled and donated over 70 mask extenders this summer. Mila Crossier. Mila has had the opportunity of being a part of Model UN and Science Fair and she was a member of Key Club, Environmental Club, and Science Team. She was also able to learn and participate in group collaborations and independent projects. Beth Davis. Beth participates in many community service events and is heavily involved in the local Carbondale music community. And in the past years has demonstrated her leadership skills by planning music benefit concerts in teaching music lessons and serving as a, as a statistical secretary for the CCHS Key Club. Sarah Denmark. Sarah has been a part of Freshman Mentors and Hobby, and she has demonstrated leadership skills by being Science Club President, President of Japanese Club, and Secretary of Improv. Emily Folk. Emily is a devoted student who participates in the girls' tennis team and is an active member of a variety of clubs. Caleb Futterow. Caleb demonstrates his leadership by participating in baseball. Adeline Garvey. Adeline has been a part of student life and by being a section leader of the clarinets in band as well as being a, in the Lifesavers and being a freshman mentor. Long May G. Long May has shown leadership and community service through participation in the math team, Lifesavers, tennis, and library advisory committee, and has been a recipient of the Gar Garland Family Foundation Scholarship three times while at CCHS. Kieran Grasher. Kieran demonstrates her leadership by being a part of the Freshman Mentors, a three-year member of the CCH band, and a flute section leader, and is a member of the Terrier softball team. Kinsey Hallfund. Kinsey has shown her leadership, her leadership through, being a, through being involved in student council, FFA, Freshman Mentors, French Club, French National Honor Society, Environmental Club, Key Club, and Bleacher Club, Bums. Zoe Harris. Zoe has shown leadership by being the president of the Creative Writing Club, class president of the Jackson CEO program, and through her involvement in the marching band, and has been a recipient of the Garland Family Foundation Scholarship. Osiris Hernandez. Osiris showed her determination as a member of our volleyball team and has demonstrated her leadership when she was vice president of the freshman class of 2022 and a member of the Beta Club and SGA. Carly Herzing. Carly has participated in band and freshman mentors and demonstrates her leadership by being an officer in the Key Club. Joan Hawk. 
Jones is an active member of the, terror, of the Carbondale Terrorist Historical Society, the speech team, and FBLA. Christopher Jarrell. Christopher demonstrated his scholarship by always asking questions and delving deeper into subjects, participating in Scholarable, and participating in the Science Club. Emma Keller. Emma demonstrated her leadership abilities as a member of the Lifesavers, Bleacher Bombs, and a recipient and a participant in volleyball for two years and a varsity softball player for three years. Aubrey Kinzel. Aubrey is a member of the Carbondale Community High School girls tennis team and treasurer for the German club. She is also part of the Jackson CEO class for young entrepreneurs and has started her own business this year. AK Designs. Arca Prava Pole. Arca Prava has been involved in the math and science team's global initiative, international club, tennis team, student council, and has been the recipient of the Garvin Family Foundation Scholarship both his freshman and junior year. Skyler Lamb. Skyler is involved in Model UN, Lifesavers, German Club, Career Club, Keep Club, International Club, and Terrier Historical Society. Samantha Lyler. Samantha shows leadership by being an active member of FCCLA, FFA, softball, and through her volunteer work in the community. Timothy Lin. Timothy demonstrates his leadership in the student council, key club, lifesavers, bleacher bums, baseball, and makes the videos for our school. Kian Lingad. Kian moved to the USA two years ago as an EL student. He has excelled in the classroom, contributes to class discussion, and has been recognized as a Terrier All-Star. Truth Marsh. Truth demonstrates her leadership and compassion by advocating for what she believes in, speaking at many protests and marches, and entering in poetry slams, to voice how she feels about those topics. Natalie Martin. Natalie's leadership by being a two-year officer on student council, a three-year key club member, an editor of the Dial staff, and she participates in freshman mentors, lifesavers, and Terrier Historical Society. Autumn Mays. Otta demonstrates leadership by being in student council and participating in freshman mentors and cheerleading. Alexander Moore. Alex demonstrates leadership by being a part of FBLA, creative writing, Spanish club, Japanese club, and science club, playing varsity for track since freshman year. Martin Roth. Marta demonstrates her leadership by working hard as Key Club President, Student Council Vice President, Treasurer of the Little Egypt District of Student Councils, Co-Captain of Varsity Quiz Ball, and Chief Editor of the Dial Yearbook Staff. Lauren Noggle. Lauren has shown her leadership abilities by being a part of Student Council, Key Club Interact, Hobby, IHSA, Special Olympics, Youth Leadership, and Lifesavers. Miranda Nino. Miranda is a member of the marching band, Lifesavers, and Freshman Mentors, and leads others through her roles as Key Club Vice President and Data Yearbook Editor. Leal Oyes. Leal demonstrates her role in the community by consistently donating art to the annual For Kids Sake Art Auction and her leadership as a freshman mentor. 
Grace, Grace Park. Park. Grace, Grace has demonstrated her leadership by serving as a student council executive board member, class officer, FBLA officer, yearbook editor, and the Marching Terriers drum major. Aria Prepajal. Aria shows leadership by being a co-section leader in band, freshman mentors, lifesavers, student council, key club quiz bowl, and an editor for the dial yearbook. Olivia Rebellin. Olivia, Olivia has, has participated in Marching Guard, Rotary Youth Exchange, Rotary Interact, and has demonstrated leadership by being involved in the community at food banks and fundraising events, and even was a CIT counselor at Camp Anasant. Curtis, Curtis Robinson. Curtis, board member of Leecher Bums, has participated in Key Club student council and a member of the tennis team. Anna is a, or Anna Schurz. Anna is a three sport varsity athlete having participated in soccer, swimming, track, and cross country. She has demonstrated leadership and community participation in gym club, Spanish club, math team, teams, environmental club, and by being in the top 10. Brandon Scott Rivers. Brandon shows leadership through participation in Upward Bound and volunteers at various programs. Anna Shin. Anna has participated in the Terriers Girls Golf Team student council and art club. She has demonstrated her leadership through her class officer position, treasurer through her high school career. Bria Sisk. Bria demonstrates her leadership by being a part of student council, key club, career club, and lifesavers. She has also participated in softball and volleyball at her time here at CCHS. William Skiles. William has participated in soccer and baseball and is an active member of the freshman mentors at Carbondale Community High School. Carly Stearns. Carly demonstrates her leadership by being a part of freshman mentors, lifesavers, bleacher bums, and is a two sport athlete of volleyball and soccer. Cameron Tabor. Cameron has participated in freshman mentors, lifesavers, and robotics at Carbondale Community High School. Blake Taylor. Blake demonstrates leadership by being a member of Bleacher Bums, where he takes initiative for people to come to the games and to stand. Outside of school, he has participated in a counselor and training program. Sophia Tigg. Sophia participated in volleyball as well as demonstrated her leadership by being a part of Lifesavers, Freshman Mentors, Bleacher Bums, Yearbook, Key Club, Educators Rising, FCCLA, FFA, and Student Council. Nathan Torres. Nathan shows leadership by being part of Student Council, Key Club, and Freshman Mentors. He also shows school spirit by being an on the executive board of Bleacher Bums and a three-year soccer player. Merritt Vaughn. Merritt demonstrates leadership by being a student council executive board member, Bleacher Bums executive board member, and as, has participated in freshman mentors. Jayla War. Jayla demonstrates leadership by being a part of student council, student advisory, key club, career club, international club, science club, Dial Your Book Club, band, being a scholar in the Smash STEM program, and a ballet dancer at Willow Street Dance Company over several years. Benjamin Whaley. Benjamin has demonstrated his desire to learn by participating in Spanish and Arabic club, and demonstrates his leadership and drive by having participated in quiz bowl and jazz and competitive band. Brooke Willard. 
Brooke demonstrates leadership by being a part of student council, key club, freshman mentors, bleacher bums, lifesavers, and is a two-sport varsity athlete of volleyball and softball. Irene Yo. Irene exhibits leadership by actively participating in student council, freshman mentors, model UN, and being a class officer. Congratulations to our 2021 Carbondale Community High School National Honor Society inductees. On behalf of Carbondale Community High School, I want to just say congratulations to all of the inductees this year. Um, on behalf of our faculty, congratulations and thank you to our faculty for helping our inductees get to this monumental point of their educational career. Thank you to our families, our parents supporting these wonderful students throughout their journey at CCHS and well before CCHS. And finally, thank you to our students. You make our school community uh, so much better each and every day with your kindness, your hard work, your perseverance. So again, on behalf of Carbondale Community High School, congratulations to the 2021 National Honor Society inductees.